我想做一个清爽一点的沙拉，有什么推荐的吗？ Welcome back to h u a w e i Decoded. A series where Huawei employees answer questions from the internet. Today, we're in the Rainbow Supermarket in Beijing. It's a smart supermarket here, and I'm joined by Kevin Kong, who is the general manager of logistics and retail solutions at Huawei. Kevin, hi Zach. Thanks for joining us. Are you ready to face the internet? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Can you tell the audience what is smart retail? In my mind, the smart retail refers to three keywords: a speed, intelligent, and experiences. Speed means that what you see is what you get. Intelligence means that we use a lot of the smart technology. We do the perfect mapping of demand with supply. Experiences means that shopping is lovely journey. <laughs> lovely journey. Okay. So that's smart retail.、Uh, the next question here is what technology is actually used in smart retail?、Uh, to be honest, a lot of technology have been widely used. Uh, such as the、uh, artificial intelligence,、uh, big data, blockchain,、uh, cloud computing, and the edge computing as well. What does that actually mean in a retail environment? Let's take the supermarket for example. We go to some shelf. We can see the electricity tax, especially for the fresh food and the seafood area. Are you mean like the price tags? Because exactly, okay, okay. But the retailer or brands will be refresh their prices time to time,、mm -hmm. especially for some the discount.、Mm -hmm. And if you go to some、uh, hot pot restaurant, you can see a lot of cameras there. They will be see、uh, whether there's some water on the floor or not. If some water on the floor, the stuff will be cleaned immediately. Of course, a lot of VR, AR instruments happen in the、uh, shopping mall as well. You mentioned these electronic price tags. What's the benefit of that? Especially, you know, for the fresh food.、Mm -hmm. If we cannot sell it out, you will put it into the garbage. It's a big waste of money.、Mm -hmm. So we have to do a very time-to-time -time discount. Such as if we go there for 7 p.m., maybe discount. But if you go to one hour later, what I mean is 8 p.m., you can get. 20% discount. Maybe before closing time, you go there. Maybe half price there. So we don't need the stuff to change by manually. We can refresh it dramatically by machine itself. Okay, interesting. Aside from that, like, how are major retailers using AI right now? A lot of technologies have been used in the house retail.、Mm -hmm. Let's show you some examples. Currently, you know, this is the AI assistant. We will go to supermarket or shopping mall. We want to buy something, but sometimes we don't have very clear purpose.、Mm -hmm. So we can talk with the AI、uh, assistant. What can I buy here? Because tomorrow is my daughter's birthday.、Mm -hmm. So the AI chatbot can give you the shopping list. What do you need? A second one is no matter for the brands or for the retailers, they are holding tons of the consumer data.、Mm -hmm. They can do the very precisely recommendations for the consumers.、Mm -hmm. So you will easily to get what you need. Uh, for the customer services, of course, you know, online and offline, it's blended together. So you can just shout out, talking with the chatbot or assistant by 24 hours per day.、Mm, can you literally shout like, "I want this"? Like, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So,、um, uh, talking about customer service, this is a big one.、Um, mm. Chatbots have been popular for years now, actually, in terms of you know, you call a place and you need to ask a question, but they you talk to a robot. You can never find the person you need.、Mm. Sometimes they don't understand your question, or they give you the wrong answer. For me personally, I, I hate chatbots.、Mm. Um, so I'm just curious. You talk about artificial intelligence. How is this changing the chatbot game? It's a good question. Unfortunately, we have to accept that before, you know, sometimes the response is slow and a little bit stupid as well. But after we go through a large amount of AI training,、mm -hmm. so the virtual assistant becomes smarter than before,、mm -hmm. and even can manage our emotion to be our the partner and advisors. Keep on going, keep on upgrading right now. So if I'm sad, I can go to the supermarket and talk to the AI bot, and it'll cheer me up. You can have a try. <laughs> <laughs> I will later. Okay. Next question is: How will artificial intelligence change retail? For consumer part, analysis on the data.、Mm -hmm. So what I mentioned, the recommendation will be more precisely to you. So for consumer, you just get a very clear guideline from the virtual assistant to directly go through there to 
get what you need. So it's very, very effective it's for the consumer part. You can feel, oh, the, the shop understands me, understand me even better than my wife. <laughs> Maybe sometimes, yes, it, it's true. For retailer part, you know, for operation efficiency, including the, uh, the warehouse efficiency management, the staff behavior uh, coordination as well, it uh, means a lot. Kevin, thank you very much for your time. And thank you guys for watching. Please join us for the next episode of Power Decoded.